again. A guy named William Billings in Boston published a book that year. That was the first book of, of music published in, in the colonies. And this is a song by him.
guys first traveled to would have, would have featured that very song. And, and these, these songs were composed by people who published their own books and traveled around, bored with the family for a month, teach people the songs, have a concert at the end, sell the books, and go on to the other place. Justin Morgan, who developed the Morgan Hall course, was also a shaken up composer. And, um, and there were so many of them. It was a, it was a common job for a young man to travel around here. And it, the, the singing schools that they would hold for a week or two were co-ed because they needed a whole range of voices. So uh, although all the music is sacred music, it, it actually served as a, as a very secular social forum and a courting arena. A lot of, these, a lot of people would meet each other at a singing school and you know, get married following that. <laughs> and the, the way that people would travel around, they would They'd be writing new songs all the time, and they'd often name them after towns that they were passing through. So a lot of the songs have names of towns. We, we couldn't find one called Unity. <laughs> there, there is one called Claremont. Why would you write one? It's kind of a hard one. It's a hard one. However, we'll try it here. It has really good words, if you don't mind death. death. Words.
LTW intervals. And that's and true of us. We, we right. are I can't stop. But people would sing it uh, for the fun of it together. And it was most popular in rural areas where people were not physically trained. And it's been continuing. It's still, it never died totally. And in the South, they have many, many groups of people that are in their 80s that started singing as children. And uh, it sort of died out in New England, but it's come back in New England. And if you can't carry a tune, you're still welcome to sit with all the people that are sitting in your car. And after a while, you may find you can carry a tune. It's very welcoming, very democratic. So,